Yeah, yeah, we don't need all of that. Welcome to this little, um, I don't know if it's a tutorial, a tip or trick or whatever it is. I do know that there are some of us here that are struggling to mod Project Wingman at the moment because of the beta branch or the um, the 2.0 version of the game in Steam. And it's very difficult and it's annoying. And even Project Sicario Merger thingy is not working correctly as it's supposed to do because it's doesn't have a source or something like that. I don't know. There's a bunch of issues right now because of the beta version of the game. Now, if you're looking for a quick tutorial or a quick tips and tricks or whatever on how to fix this, this is the wrong place because this is going to be a live stream. I'm going to go into detail on some things here and there. It doesn't have any structure. I'm just here talking and explaining things the way that I see fit because it's hard to get a grasp on things. So if you want a better version, shorter version, you're going to have to wait for that because I'm going to make a video on that later. But I have to think about like what I'm going to say and whatnot in, in the live stream. I don't have to think about it. I just can talk and talk without any issues. Right. So I know that some of us are having issues in the, if you are in the beta branch in the game. Um, some mods are not working correctly. They are either breaking the game or just not showing properly in the inside the game and just not not working at all, right? Now, because I do a lot of videos in the game, I do have I need the mods to be working. I kind of figured out a way to do modding, kind of get Sicario Merger working. It's not a very pleasant way to fix it, but it worked for me. It might not work for you. Your problem might be different. You might not even have any issues or maybe not even the same issues as I do. But uh, at this point, who knows? Right? It's it's a very complicated thing. We'll get this. We'll get through this together. So now I'm just checking my phone to make sure that the stream is live and we can see everything. Yeah. Okay. So one of the things when you're modding Project Wingman is that you I, I use I use Project Sicario. Now I'm currently in the bear branch. So if I try to run Project Sicario, it just does that. It just closes automatically. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't merge anything. I don't know why I didn't make this program. I don't know the people that made it. So I, there's no way for me to know. So with the knowledge that I have, though, I know that what it does it just goes into here into your mods uh, folder it grabs everything and then it literally merges all into just one single file which is called the sicari merge pick pack so essentially grabs these files and then makes this guy little right here grabbing all the all the mods into just one singular mod so that project wingman can run this thing as soon as you open it right now, there's not going to be... Uh, I need some music in the background, bro. I swear. It's too quiet. Maybe I should put just one my channel for my channel and just be done with that. Uh, I don't have no idea. Maybe I'll put this one right here. Just tone it down a little so that it's playing in the background. And, of course, it's not playing in the background because this scene doesn't capture this at all. Coolio. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to go behind screen and put some music for you guys because it's horrible talking and listening and putting all this stuff without any music behind it, right? It's not fun. I guess I'm just going to put the Kings from Patley and everything else. No, maybe not. Just the entire live orchestra, that's fine. We lower the volume and let it play. We just want it on the background. Okay, there we go. Okay. So back to what I was saying. So Project Wingman or the Sicario merger just creates this single file over here. You can actually use that file to mod the 2.0 version of the game. Um, from what my experience, I know that things like the UF22 doesn't really work properly or even it even breaks the game. I know it broke my game when I tried to apply it. 
the weapons for all that one works still at least in the 2.0 version press everywhere system also works in the 2.0 version now the all planes two seaters i'm just going to talk about the mods that are usually used if there's any other mod i don't know about i don't have any experience with it because i don't use it so i cannot talk about it so i'm only going to talk about the ones that i use i know that this one because it changes the skin and the looks of the plane it doesn't really work and it actually breaks the game aoa for all still works noom still works more press lines more press lines works but breaks the game in the sense that if you go into a mission the lines are going to be all jumbled up it's not going to make any sense so it essentially it's not doing what it's supposed to do and it doesn't break the game in a way that you don't are not able to play it but it, it's not that's not working the way it's supposed to the wyvern also because it changes the appearance of the plane uh, currently it's not working at least for me and the skins for the gold gold team they work um but not really too well sometimes the skins don't show up too well in the display area when you're playing the game so there's that so now, that we, now if you go to the nexus mods you will see some of them say that the better branch it, it does work in the better branch so there you go you can just use that one instead um, <laughs> currently i don't think we have any mods at all that work for the beta branch like four of them yeah four of them so this is what i'm doing this tutorial just to show you guys kind of like what i'm doing with this stuff and how did i made it work so going back again if you go back to your folder you try to run project sicario it doesn't do anything so if you go here to the contents to the packs you notice you might have two folders in here the mods pack and the sicario pack or the sicario folder if you go here to mods that's where you put your mods once you run the merger it's supposed to spit out this thing and again this file is all of these three combined into that one that's essentially what it does and then the game just runs this one so the way to make mods work or to change mods in the 2.0 version of the game is by not even using the 2.0 version of the game and you have to go back so you have to go to properties you have to go to betas you have to go to none then you need to change the mods and then you go back to the beta branch and voila you have the mods because it takes time to download things go back and forth and whatnot you can do it in one go how do you do it in one go well i'm not gonna go back because it's gonna take time but just going to the betas going to none go back to the default version of game once you are in the default version of the game sicario merger this little guy over here the sicario the project sicario merger should work just fine right now it doesn't because it's on the beta branch once you're in the regular version of the game it should work so what i did because i changed the mods in my videos very often what i did is i went back to the regular version and then i run the project sicario i went into my packs into the mods i put some mods in here which i can actually show you which mods i have so I ha i'm very organized with my stuff man <laughs> So essentially I have two versions here, or three versions rather. So when I was in the regular version, I merged one with this, just these three guys. And that one is this one right here. It doesn't have press, it just has AOA for all, all weapon for all, and then mobility mod. And then once I merged them, I grabbed this little file and made a copy of it somewhere else. So mine is mod pack backup pro Wigman, right? So I made this file over here. Then I went back into the mods, placed all of these mods there, except for the UF because that one doesn't work currently. So you have to delete things like the two mesh because that changes the appearance of the game, of the plane. You have to change the anything that gives you a different type of plane it's not working right now in the beta version 
at least not for me. It might work for other people, but for me, it does not work at all. So I had to remove this one too. So that one went away. That one is the wyvern, so that one had to go away. The skins sometimes work, sometimes they don't. I have no idea which ones work and which ones do not work. So I'm sorry. <laughs> so I only have the ones that I know that work. So essentially I put it down into this one. I placed them back into the mods folder. I went back into this guy, merged them all back in the regular version of the game. And that created another that created another file. So now I grab that file, and because in this version I do have press everywhere, I do have press present, I made a file, a folder that says, okay, press included, there we go. So I moved this guy over there, and blam, that did it. So you can do as many merges as you need, mix and match. So for example, I can go into the mods folder, and instead of using these three, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna use like these guys over here, and do that, right? And merge this. Now I have a merge of all of this, and then I'm like, eh, maybe I don't want this too, right? So I'm just gonna delete them. If I can do that, and then merge again, and make a copy. You can make as many copies as you want, it's entirely up to you. All you really need to know is that whatever mods you have here in the regular version of the game, whatever mods you have here, once you merge them with this guy, you can go to Sicario, grab this pack, and make a copy out of it. This little guy includes all the mods that you have in your mods folder. So this guy has all of these. Now you can make as many, again, you can make as many of these as you want. Again, the ones that change the appearance of the planes, such, such as meshes or like making the UF-22 and whatnot, those tend to break the game right now in the beta branch, so it doesn't really work too well. But you just have to play around with it, because everybody is different. I don't know what's breaking the game, I'm assuming the mods, but who knows. I'm not an expert, I just know that whatever I did worked. So there you go. So after making the merges, after making copies, I went back to the beta version of the game. And because I'm on the beta version of the game, the merger no longer works, it does whatever it wants. So if I want to change my mods, all I have to do is go back to the content, to the packs, to Sicario, and change this little guy. So right now if I go into like the press, right here, and then I make a copy of it, replace the file, I can actually go back into the game and it should not break. Because I don't have any matches, any mesh changes or any plane changes, I don't really have too many mods. Because again, the 2.0 version of the game right now, it's not very stable, it's not working with any of the mods. But at the very least, this is a roundabout way of merging your mods and have something at the very least. Let me close my window when the game launches up. Ah, Project Wingman, why do you have to break? Uh, and what do you have to do the, the Frontline 59 to be a PlayStation exclusive? <laughs> it breaks my heart. Oh, well. Whatever. I'm just gonna show you guys that this method works at least for me. And it does change the mods that I have. Without breaking the game. Now, three things can happen when you are doing this. One, the game is going to instantly crash as soon as you launch it, which is not good. That means one of the mods that you merged is breaking the game. So you have to play around with like, oh my God, which one is it? I don't know. Two, it will launch, but the mods are not going to be working properly. So if I go into like free mission or whatever, mercenary whatever i just want to get to the plane so that i can know so that i know my mods are working so i'll go 
to kinks because that's my default go-to. I, I only play kinks, mostly. And then start mission, let's see what we have. Most of the mods should have worked. So yeah, as you can see, my press everywhere mod is working. Every single plane is shown as a two-seater. So that's good, that's good, that's cool. If I pick a plane, I have the weapons for all mod included. So it's showing, well, I'll go into something else like this guy. So it's showing every single thing. Every single weapon is showing right now. That's good. That means it works. And then if I go, let's say, so th this one doesn't have an AOA, right? It shouldn't, but it does. Cool. That one works. So currently most of the mods are working. I should have the Golm team livery included. Oh my god, what's going on here? Stop jumping around. So if I go into this one, it should be included. But again, skins sometimes do not work. And in my case, it did not work at all. It doesn't work. Why? I have no idea. It's just not showing up. And that sucks. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a given. It's... Trial and error. Oh, I do have another liver here that I shouldn't have. Do I? No, I don't know. Maybe I don't. Man, it, the numbers don't even show up. Okay, so the delivery doesn't work. But at the very least, it's showing every single plane as a two-seater, so that one, that one works. So let me just go into battle real quick to make sure that it's not breaking the game as soon as I launch the game, because it, it is a possibility. But at the very least, merging the mods in the regular version of the game and then using that project Sicario merge file to exchange the mods should do the trick for now until they fix everything and as you can see yep i'm here there is press in a point that she shouldn't be so reworking just fine so everything works as it should no issues here no problems i didn't even bring the area okay now I'm gonna close the game. Now I'm gonna go back to the files. And I'm gonna pick the other one. This one right here. And again, this one should only have three mods that I have, right? So this is my main folder. Again, main folder, Project Wigman, Content Packs, Sicario. So now that I have this one, I can just grab this one, plop it in, replace, Make sure that your, the file here is named exactly as is. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, but there is, you can actually see the extensions by clicking here. File name extensions. That should give you this extension right here. So right now I have activated it right now. And then I can deactivate it and sometimes it doesn't show. So just make sure that you have this extension on so that you are able to see the dot pack. Just make sure that it's named this. That's essentially it. So I already replaced it. And then without merging anything. I didn't merge anything. I just replaced the file. I'm going to go back into Project Wingman. And make sure that mods are working correctly. It's a different batch of combination of merges of mods. And that should do the trick. Hopefully. I know that at least tried twice and it worked. So there shouldn't be any issues. So now, now you saw in the previous one I had press everywhere mod. And every play, plane is a two-seater, right? The game didn't crash, so I know the mods that I'm currently using are not breaking the game. So if I go to free flight, the planes should have changed. I'm gonna go back into Kings because that's my, my go-to. Man, it really takes a while to go into things. Ah, fudge! Which mod is this? Huh. No, hold on. Um, I messed up somewhere. Oh, well. Okay. 
I definitely messed up somewhere, and that's my bad. I think I grabbed a grown file. We'll go back into the not press file and merge that one over here. And then go back. This works, I, I believe me. I've, this is just a stage fright. It's stage, stage fright? Yeah, stage fright. No, wait, what the hell am I saying? <laughs> I'm just scared and nervous right now because I'm live giving support to this thing. All right, let's see. That should have done the, the trick. I actually make sure to grab the not press mod so that you can see the contrast between the two. Again, game did not crash, so I know the mods that I currently have installed are working just fine. I'm just gonna go into the first mission, whatever, just go. I just need to see the planes and make sure that everything is working correctly, because if not, I just lied to another dude that I responded to, and I'm gonna have to go back to that dude and tell him, you know what, that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's all about learning the process. Let's see. Oh my god, how many? How many? The moment of truth, my people. Start mission. And... Ah, there it is. See, without doing any merges, just changing that one little file. Now, now that the planes are not a two-seater, now everything is just fine, fine and dandy. I don't even know if I have the, the mod pack for the zero over here. Nope, I do not. Okay, well, doesn't really matter. But as you can see, there's the proof. I changed one file and now it works. So again, to make, I guess to bring everything into perspective and make it as fast as you as fast and simple and straightforward as I can. Project Sicario Merger, it's not currently working with the 2.0 version of the game. It just doesn't merge anything. Why? I have no idea. But one way to circumvent this and be able to continue to merge mods is by going back to the is by going back to the normal version of the game. Once you are back in the normal version of the game. Yeah, once you are back to the normal version of the game, Project Sicario Merger should work as intended and should merge your mods. So what Project Sicario does is it runs the time. So if you go into Project Wingman, Content, Packs, you have these two files. The first one is your mods. The second one, the Sicario, is the merged file of the mods. So essentially, these guys turn into this guy. This is an individual mod, that's why it's a DTP. This one is an individual thing, so that's why it's a DTP. This is also an individual thing, so it's a DTP. I believe that's why it is. This is a pack because it's a pack. It's a, it's, it's literally like a crate of out of these three things just put into that one. Right? So you can change, mix and match as many mods as you want. Like, oh, maybe I don't want this one. So you take it away. Oh, that. So you're like, oh, maybe I don't want this one. So you take it away and then you merge this ones and you copy this file somewhere in your computer. Doesn't matter where. And you can make as many of these guys as you want. I made three of them. One with press not present, one with press present, and whatever the hell this one is. I didn't give it a name. So now it's my it's an issue that I don't have any idea what this is what, what I have here. So it's better to make folders like this ones and name them like oh this has this and that. I don't know. It's entirely up to you. But that's only doable in the regular version. Once you have as many as these ones as you want, you can go back to the beta branch. And once you're in the beta branch, all you have to do is change this file with whatever copies you want, 
make sure that it's named this name and the mods should change. Again, if I go back to the modding, oh Jesus Christ. Number GX! What the fuck was that? Okay, what, whatever, dude, whatever. So, from my knowledge, again, these guys, because they say they work in the beta branch, they should work in the beta branch. Everything else that doesn't say that does not work in the Vader branch. Or might not work in the Vader branch. This one guarantee probably that it does work. The other ones, there's no guarantee that they work at all. I only deal with a couple of mods because that's essentially the only ones that I use. So I have to go to the like the most popular of all time. And then I'll let you go know which ones I use. So the Project Sicario, of course, not working. Press Everywhere system, still working in the 2.0. All weapons for all planes, still working in the 2.0. UF-22, because it changes the appearance of the plane, it's not working in the 2.0, at least not for me. All planes are two-seaters. This one changes the appearance of the planes by adding a second seat to them. Does not work. For me, at the very least. <laughs> and then, what else did I use? AOA for all. Still works. Ace Combat Sound Effects. I have no idea. I've downloaded it before, but I have no idea if it still works or not. This one, I'm assuming, it doesn't really any work anymore. Because it does change the mapping of the, of the plane. So it might not work. But who knows? More press lines. This one kind of works. It works. But it breaks the dialogue of in-game in on some missions. It jumbles up the... <laughs> Let me replay the, the music. It, it jumbles up the lines, so sometimes they repeat what they just said and whatnot. It, it, eh, eh, it doesn't really work. This one, I'm not sure. This one, the new, still works, so that's good to know. Wyvern does not work. I don't know what it does, what it's doing right now, uh, but it doesn't work. At least not for me. May it does have an update, so maybe it does work for some of the people. Uh, who knows? Um, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure about this one. I'm assuming it doesn't work because it does change the appearance of the of the plane. And the other mods that I know don't work for me have changed the appearance of the plane. So uh, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. You might let me know. Scans. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. What makes them work and what makes them not work? I have no idea. This one doesn't work for me either because, again, appearance of the game. And yeah. Every other mod that I usually use, uh, this one doesn't work anymore for me either. Neither does this, unfortunately. Aces After Calamity, the Ace Combat skin pack, does not work anymore for me, unfortunately. UF-22, trigger, does not work because it needs the other thing. So I don't know, you might need to go and check. Um, that's, that's all I know, that's all I have. That's all I have for you today. Hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully it works out for you. Hopefully they make they either update the mods so that they work with the 2.0 version of the game. Or they update Project Wingman so that it's more compatible with mods. Um again, Project Sicario right now, 2.0 version of the game, not doing not doing shit. Not working at all. It runs halfway through and then it just dies. So if you're gonna be merging mods. You have to do it in the regular version of the game. Go into your contents packs, Sicario, save this file, which is the resulting merging file. Save it somewhere, give it a good name. Merge as many as you need with different mods or whatever, mix and match. Uh, go back to the beta branch and then just go again. Go into your directory, Project Wingman, Content, Packs, Sicario, and replace this file with whatever you have here. So just blip, blah. 
Make sure that it's, again, make sure that, that the name is this. And there you go. So I can just go back and forward in between these two and that changes mods. That's the only workaround that I have at the moment. I know some people are <laughs> concerned about that. I know that it, this worked for me. It's not a perfect, it's not a perfect workaround. It's not a perfect solution, but it is what I currently have at the moment. I don't know what other people have. They might not even have this. They might have something better. I don't know. Hopefully they, somebody else makes a video and helps everybody else. Because right now Project Wingman is a mess with mods in the beta branch. Which is to be expected because they are drastically changing the freaking game. So it makes sense that the mods are going to break. Uh, I think I went over time 30 minutes. Uh, I might upload a better, more structured a video of how to do this I might not even bother at all and just send people over here to the stream and tell them hey just look at the <laughs> the last like 10 minutes or so that's probably all of it um, whatever whatever it is what it is hopefully this helps some people hopefully you guys are able to continue playing for a little bit with some mods here and there and hopefully there's better solutions in the future for now this is all I have it works for me it might not work for you. Who knows? Anyways, thank you. If you sticked all the way to the very end of the, of the stream, well, thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate the support. And I hope that this helps. Um, this is me. This is Maxi Nitro signing out. I'll see you guys on the next one. And have a beautiful day, my friend. Bye-bye.